How safe is your bank? How safe is your broker? Your insurance or your 401k? Dr. Martin D. Weiss and Mike Larson of Weiss Research have just completed an urgent webcast, a public service for investors and savers, to give you the answers you so desperately and urgently need. In this free one-hour video, they will provide you with frank, honest, unhedged answers you need to get yourself and your family through the most devastating financial crisis since the Great Depression with your money completely intact. The following is an excerpt from the program on your safety in this unprecedented crisis. It seems nothing is safe anymore. Not so-called conservative stocks, not the big banks that were supposedly strong, not even some money market funds. So how do we find safety in this unsafe world? It's a good question. Uh, for your core holdings, the, the money you can't <clears throat> afford to lose, this is not the time to worry about the return on your money. Absolutely. It's time to ensure the return of your money. Uh, true safety has two elements. The first is capital conservation, the return of your money, like I just said, every, every single every, penny. Every penny, and that goes without saying. Yeah. But it's the second element that most people miss, liquidity, mm -hmm. the ability to get uh, a hold of the money in your hands and actually use it whenever you want to. No waiting, no penalties, no bottlenecks or shutdowns standing in your way. You know, this is not a perfect world uh, with absolute perfection. Absolute perfection should not be your goal. But on both of those aspects, capital conservation and liquidity, the single investment in the world that's at the top of the charts is short-term U.S. Treasury securities. Not long-term bonds, but short-term treasuries, T-bills or equivalents. These enjoy the best, most direct, and most reliable guarantee of the U.S. government over and above any other guarantees or promises they have made in the past or, or will make in the future. Now, Martin, even in a worst-case scenario, right? Even in a worst-case scenario. Uh, in the weeks ahead, many other supposedly safe investments will be called into question. The worst-case scenario is here. Yeah, yeah, most stocks, of course, but, but, but also bank CDs, annuities, high-rated bonds, and companies that are supposedly too big to fail. Even tax-exempt bonds issued by supposedly sound cities and states. Mm -hmm it will be a financial war zone. But despite the wealth destruction everywhere, perhaps even because of the wealth destruction everywhere, U.S. Treasury bills will stand apart, heads uh, and shoulders above every other investment, returning 100% of your money plus interest with your money available when you need it. Uh, we're getting a lot of questions on the safety of Treasury bills, and this is one perfect example Martin, you say Treasury bills are safe, but how do we know it will hold up in a future worst-case scenario? Well, no one can predict the future with certainty, but we can look back at past worst-case scenarios. Go back to Rhode Island in 1991. Uh, governor in Rhode Island declared a state bank holiday. All the state chartered banks uh, w were closed down, uh, depositors were marching down the streets in protest. Every single citizen with money in one of those savings banks was locked out, frozen out. Uh, one of those Rhode Island citizens happened to be one of our subscribers who had his checking account in a closed bank. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, he had almost all of his money at the Treasury Department in Treasury bills, and he was safe. But he called me and he said, uh, Martin, my account at the Treasury is set up to wire the money straight into my checking account, which is frozen. What's going to happen then? <laughs> that's, a, that's a good question. I mean, what would you, what would you tell this well, person? I said, I said, look, check your mailbox. Instead of wiring uh, your funds, the Treasury has taken the extraordinary measure of cutting a hard check and mailing you the check immediately they want to make absolutely sure you get your money without any delay. That's what okay. I told them. And the moral of this story is that even in a worst case banking scenario, the Treasury made sure you got your money. So, or, or go back to the early 1930s. A record 13 million Americans, 25% of the workforce, were unemployed. We had a head spinning wave of bank failures, but owners of Treasury bills never lost a penny. 
or go back even further to the Civil War. Investors at that time financed 65% of the Union's war costs by buying Treasury securities. But, you know, the war was, was far worse than those investors dreamed possible, and it left over half of the U.S. economy in shambles. So you can imagine, investors in Treasuries were, were very worried, sure. and for good reason. But as it turned out, the U.S. government made the repayment of its debt the number one priority, over and above all other disbursements for the war. Investors got back every single penny and more. Uh, my main point is this. The crisis ahead will not be as severe as the war that tore our nation and our economy apart. Uh, if Treasury securities were safe, then they will be safe now. I have a question from a reader uh, which seems to tie in nicely with what you were just discussing. Mm -hmm. uh, what happens if we get another bank holiday like the 1930s? What happens if I want to cash in my Treasury bills? If the banks are closed, where am I going to get the cash? Just like the Rhode Island situation, you know. The Treasury will take extraordinary measures to make sure you can cash in your Treasury bills. They'll send you hard Treasury checks. Uh, they'll designate special bank offices in every city and every state, and those banks will exchange your Treasury checks for hard cash. Ditto for checks so that you can write on uh, Treasury-only money market funds. Martin, I know you're a, a big advocate for treasuries here, and I, I just want to know, why do you feel so strongly about this? It's not an issue of feeling, it's an issue of fact. Uh, it, it's because the Treasury Department is directly responsible for feeding money to the utmost mission-critical operations of the government. Sure. Uh, defense, uh, homeland security, emergency response, the Treasury will do whatever it has to in order to continue providing that funding and, and that means making sure it never defaults on its maturing treasury securities, that it never has any unhappy customers. Understood. <laughs> and here's a question from one of Larry Edelson's uh, Real Wealth subscribers. Uh, he's asking, uh, throughout history, many governments have defaulted on their, debt, their debts by devaluing their currency. Why are you recommending treasury bills if you yourself have warned that one of the consequences of this disaster, disaster could be devalued dollars. Yes. Well, as I stressed at the outset, the trend right now is toward deflation and a stronger dollar. <clears throat> but, but even if that changes, the solution is not to abandon the safety and liquidity of the Treasury bills, it's to set aside some money and buy some hedges against inflation, like gold, for example. You have been viewing some segments for the Weiss Research Emergency Question and Answer Session. To view the entire program right now on your computer, just go to the website on your screen. That's moneyandmarkets.com slash TV.